Gino Danda. Yeah. Okay. Gino Danda. Marcus is saying goodbye to his friend who has followed us for the last hour or so up this hill. Just went through another dog's territory and nearly got in a scrap. But uh, <laughs> apparently he just wants to come with us. This is very common on these trails as these dogs will follow the tourists. And we don't even give them any food or anything. Just a little love and conversation. They're all over it. But this one has uh, grown very, very fond of Marcus. So there they go. See ya boys. Oh, you want me to come? Yeah? Hey? Should I come? Hey, Stinky? Into the hotel. <laughs> 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 oh. Have you been in a helicopter? Never. Never? No. One time. Yeah, we went to the My family decided to take a really step. today we are hiking up the Tatapani. We just stayed at one of those guest houses down there at the river and now we're coming up lots of stairs towards Tatapani. It's really beautiful. The waterfall and these mountains above us that got a little bit of snow last night. There was lots of thunder and lightning and rain where we were at but snow at the top of the mountain and yeah marcus is ahead of me as usual it's okay i'm taking my sweet ass time oh look at those trees oh 
on that mountain range. Hi, little bird. I got my telephoto lens out when we were down there. There's lots of birds in the morning, especially when you're by water waterways. Yeah. And that's the valley that we came from way over there. The mountains are up there. Sanctuary is still closed, but that's okay. It's okay. Still lots to see in the Annapurna range. It's hard to believe that it's day 11. Time is kind of flying by, but I'm savoring every moment. Tadapani. Marcus and I are playing hide and seek. Oh, I found him. There he is on top of the mountain. We just walked up here to get a good view of the snow in the mountains. Oh, I found him again. I just cut my pants on some barbed wire. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, Marcus, I, I have... I was just thinking about how good these pants are yesterday, and they lasted me so long. They're going to be even better with thread and needle. They've lasted me three years, these I... pants, on this journey. Where did you rip them? Oh, in the knee? Mm. Aw. no, poor Marcus. Day 12, Tadapani. We're about to walk. Where are we walking to today, Marcus? Durani or Dubato? It's definitely, the great debate. Definitely not Durani, because I don't know where that is. Oh, that's not the name of the place. <laughs> that looks really uncomfortable. Yeah, big bag. Where are we heading? We're heading from Tadapani. Durali, maybe Gorpani. We'll see how far we get today. It's a beautiful morning. We just came down a lot of stairs and now we're starting to go upstairs. So it's time to take off another layer. We're not sure where we're gonna go from Durali. There's supposed to be a little bit of snow tomorrow. So, but I'm thinking we probably will end up going to Dubato because we don't want to come back the same way we went. <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes doing that. I like seeing new things, so we'll see how the snow is tomorrow and how far we can get to Copra Ridge. And then it would be pretty quick to come back down. You can paraglide and I'll ski. Yeah, we're walking through rotos again. They're not in bloom, but they will be in a few weeks. So the one more thing that I wanted to say is that Marcus is an excellent trekking partner. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Marnie. <laughs> for bringing me here. It's a very inspiring trip. It's nice that you go my pace. Otherwise, you probably would have already done the whole route that we've done probably three times. <laughs> yeah, it's day 12 and I, I just passed somebody. 
<laughs> I don't pass people ever. <laughs> we just passed somebody. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Lots of people coming up and down. Yeah, it's a busy route. Kind of why the reasoning for not going to Debato today, but. And we're walking along this mountainside valley down there. We can see some settlements in the distance. And we found our first blooming rhodos. These ones, this tree here probably gets a lot of sun. I'm really excited to see them already in bloom. Before Marnie came, I was speaking to some people who had hiked the Annapurna area. And they highly recommended crampons. So I suggested she pick up a pair. I didn't ask for a pair for myself, just a pair for her, which I was quite comfortable with because I have these very lightweight shoes that I can feel all the surfaces quite well. Even though I could slip right now and slide down this hill into Marnie, clipping her, clipping her at the knees. <laughs> and then we would both slide all the way down. <laughs> it's true, I, I do feel like a snow leopard or a bear right now. I should probably use my hands instead of film for this right now. So Marcus is trying to get through, but there's four Nepalese women. Reinforcements are coming. Oh, you want to help my friend? Yeah, why not? He's, he's in big trouble. How's your soup, Marcus? We're staying in Gorpani. We couldn't, or I couldn't, go any longer. We have a very, very nice room that looks out to the mountains. It's one of the nicest rooms yet. I mean, there is mold coming through the ceiling, but the view is beautiful. And it's pink! <laughs> and it's got two windows and a bathroom. Marcus is having a shower. Pizza party in Gorapani. Hey, buddy. 